Hi, my name is Allison Bishop, and I am a teacher leader in the Seattle School District. Uh, in 2015, I was recruited to join the initial class of the TPEP Teacher Leader Cadre. The Cadre is a group of teachers who um, work with our colleagues on the Danielson Framework and the TPEP process, and this is our journey. So building the Cadre over the past three years has been a lot like the road trip that I took with my family last summer. This is us. It's my husband, our two young children, all the stuffed animals in the world and no ability to see out of the back seat, or out of the back window. So if you've taken a road trip uh, before, especially one with small children, you know what it's like uh, dealing with the different voices in the car, the bickering in the back seat, maybe getting lost along the way, always knowing that you have to keep your eyes on the road and that you would get there eventually. So with the cadre, we knew our desired destination uh, was to make goal setting more authentic, but we knew we had a long road ahead of us because teachers and principals were confused and the result was a lot of goals that were simply created to jump through that student growth goal hoop, as Sue referred to um, uh, earlier. Um, and so we were typically seeing principal-directed um, goals that were not classroom-based, and we needed to move student growth towards something that was more meaningful for teachers. And there was confusion around the type of assessments that were being used in a mismatch between the goal, the, assess the assessment, and the instruction. And so worst of all, we were losing, um, or we were leaving behind 20% of our students because they were writing achievement goals. Um, and prior to the cadre, we found ourselves really lost and we needed to find our way to a better place for both our teachers and our students. So just like my family's road trip, there were a lot of voices that needed to be heard. The district wanted quality teachers and um, the state wanted accountability. The union wanted some consistency and teachers really just wanted to have their practice back. But our big question was, how do we get there? How do we get um, past all of the traffic? How do we go through the bumps in the road, the disagreements in the back seat? How do we, how do we get through all those distractions that are along the way? And we knew that um, we needed to learn some ways to approach student growth goals, and the learning needed to be visible through our entire district. This is not an easy task in a district that's as large as our district. So we have 103 schools, we have 200 principals, we have 4,300 teachers, and we have 53,000 students. So as in any district, our principals were already overloaded with the responsibilities, and they struggled to find the time and space to consistently provide professional development to teachers, and our central office staff is large, but we're not large enough to get to every student or every teacher in every school. And we needed an approach that was sustainable. We needed to know that as new teachers joined the district, the common understanding would continue and that the veteran teachers would have an opportunity to revisit and refresh their understanding and their practices. And we didn't want to create something that would be great in the first year and then over time would slowly fade away. So with teacher practice in the driver's seat, a collaboration was developed. Our teacher leaders were identified through our association. They came together and they were trained by WEA on the principles of practice around student growth goals and formative assessment. So these teacher leaders made up our initial TPEP teacher leader cadre and they were able to go back to their schools and provide leadership to their colleagues through informal hallway conversations and more formal trainings at staff meetings. And this strengthened our district's capacity and helped us to build more opportunities for teacher leadership at the building level. Those teacher leaders also held lead, lead, helped lead regional trainings um, for teachers from neighboring schools, and they could come and have access to the same expertise, which was coming from a colleague instead of coming as a mandate from the state or from the district. And this allowed the practice of setting and monitoring growth goals to focus on the cycle of inquiry and be driven by what the data are telling us about our students' needs instead of being driven by the evaluation or just compliance with the evaluation system. This made the process of setting student growth goals a meaningful part of, teacher, of teaching and learning, and it was transformational for our practice. And so we were back on the road, just like in my family's road trip. Next summer, despite all of the bumps in the road, the crying in the back seat, we'll go on another family road trip, I'm sure, with my two small children and all of those stuffed animals. But we know um, that we'll be headed in the right direction, and that's how we are with the cadre. We currently have 32 teachers in our district who've been trained, and 20 of those make up our current cadre. Uh, they have facilitated over 75 trainings with six more planned for this year, um, but we know that we still have more to do. 
So during our workshop, we'll dive deeper into the process of developing a TPEP, a TPEP cadre, the changes that we're going into for this year, and then the next steps in continuing that work. And we'll also provide resources for you that you can use to develop your own TPEP cadre in uh, your school or your district, and how you can implement a plan for creating all of that for teacher leaders in your district. So thanks, we hope to see you there. <laughs>